happened. Killer, killer. And it got resolved all in the same thing. Because I had jokes. I didn't think it was the shit was going to happen this fast. I think then all the maneuvers was going to happen this fast. Uh, but DMX, of course, is going to, uh, well, went to court. Court. Because yeah. of his tax evasion or not paying taxes, whatever the fuck the case is, or yep. anything like that. Um, his lawyer thought it was a good idea to play some DMX in court to explain. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, DMX is not this this horrible bad guy. <laughs> so. Oh, man. No, niggas did not I come don't up. know if this Blue happened. Docs are Kelly route. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know if it actually happened in the court. Wow. And everything like that. Because he already got sentenced to, like, a year in jail or some shit like that. Or something like that. That was his sentencing now or some shit like that. Because he was going to get, like. Uh, five to ten years, I think, or something so, like that. So did he play X? Is gonna give it to him? I don't know because he's gonna. But plan he to didn't never give, him that give it money to him. Back. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if he actually played the music, got a chance to play the music, and shit like that. But of course, we know DMS got like like uh, Father God type songs and shit like that, like yeah. Look After Me type. All his prayers. Like, he, he got yeah, he got yeah the prayer and shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he got some good songs that I guess probably could have helped him in court. But since we're here for the jokes, my nigga. Nigga, is he in court <laughs> performing this shit, my nigga? <laughs> like, is that what's going on, my nigga? Like, he and that singer Rough Riders anthem and shit in that motherfucker. So uh, like, what the fuck? I didn't know what was going on, but I thought that shit was funny as fuck. Oh, man. I man. thought that was funny as fuck to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who to say that. But good segue, since we said some R. Kelly shit um, in the news this week. R. Kelly has been known to be keeping pets at 14 and training them up. From 14 to whatever age they are now as pets. He said pets? Pets, my nigga. It was... It was human pets? Yes, motherfucker. No, um, I'm just making sure. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, um, I guess one of the girls that escaped or some shit however well, many years ago, she was... I don't know if she was part of the ring or some shit like this going on with R. Kelly because, of course, we already know R. Kelly is keeping bitches in basements and shit like that. Yeah. But, um, I guess... But she spoke out to the public and said that I've seen him like pick up a 14-year-old and train her to be a fucking pet damn bro yeah and my thing is why the fuck is these girls parents <laughs> like that's getting picked up at 13 and 14 i don't know some of them because uh is do they think r kelly is that good of a chaperone on these field trips or some shit like what the family, fuck is going on family, <laughs> so, i know a while ago uh uh because like uh, something that came up with uh him having a whole sex trade, uh, like sex spring and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. About like older women training these younger girls and shit. And I'm assuming like, that's what the probably that, girl is. Like the probably girl that that came out to talk. I'm assuming that's probably what she is because she. I forgot who she did the interview and everything like that. But she was just telling like everything that she had saw that was going on inside the um the house, the house. where the fuck case is. But I thought that was wild as fuck, man. Like fourteen. Yeah, that's. Uh, like, why is R. Kelly not locked up yet, my nigga? How's he good? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that shit wild as fuck. Uh, kudos oh. to whoever got that reference. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, don't uh, I don't know, my nigga, but it's wild as fuck. Yeah, that's 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 wild to me. Cause like I want to say they did like a whole sting operation at one of his mansions or some shit. Yeah, they shut one of them bitches down. It wasn't the one in Chicago. I think it was the one in Atlanta. No, it was in the one in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah it was the one in Atlanta. They, uh, yeah, yeah. They shut that whole thing down. But my nigga, they still ain't got this nigga in jail. Like he's still out here, like capturing bitches like Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy out here, bro. I don't know. I do not know what the fuck is going on, my nigga. Oh man. I just well, gotta catch them all. That's wrong. <laughs> wrong with him man yeah i don't know what the fuck is going on with that nigga it's, it's crazy because like how do you get a lo- how do you get away with this shit for so long knowingly like everybody cause people, knows because like some people think that they're going to get something long term out of it because like um that was the thing with like the whole sex uh sex ring shit because like one of the chicks um was saying that you know they parent like he basically came to like his parents and shit and basically said that they was going to get this girl a deal and all this shit. And, yeah. like, she stayed close. Like, he's going to mentor her and all this other shit. But at 14, my nigga, you leave your kid with R. Kelly? At 14. I don't know about the 14, but that that particular girl was, like, uh, I want to say 17, like, 18. Um, that, that he said that out. to the parents and shit. And, like, yeah. she just went along with it and shit. And then she found out that she was doing some other shit for him. 